Hi, today's class we will focus on waking up the fire in the core, so activating the core and the abdominals and we will also do movements that are focused on releasing the tension in the back, mid, upper, lower back, so we'll have a lot of twists. We will find time for activating the power, but also finding moments of stillness and coming back to breath awareness. So you might need a couple blocks and a couple pillows, maybe to pad the knees and the blocks for extra opening in the shoulders. And that's all you need. Let's get started. Okay, I have the blocks and the pillow nearby. Might need it. And we'll start in child's pose just to begin. So touching the toes and then bring the knees as wide as feels good today in the body. Maybe they're a little closer. Maybe they're wider than the mat. And then start exhaling gently, bringing the forehead all the way down. And if the knees are wider, you'll start noticing this right away in the hips. And start exhaling from the entire body. So as you exhale, think of melting the pelvis into the heels. and resting the heart space, melting the heart into the floor. And resting the head. And resting the skin of the head. And softening the jaw in the front of the throat. And coming back to the breath as you inhale and as you exhale. And thinking of coming into the inner experience of the body. Resting the belly releasing the belly button and thinking of hips getting heavier with every exhale and when you're ready let the inhale Bring the heart over the hips. And we'll get into very gentle twisting here. So right palm will go outside the left hip. And draw your left palm all the way back. So finding torsion. Rolling the left shoulder back behind you looking behind you and twisting the eyes as well. So finding a spot for the eyes to rest on and breathing slowly, inhaling and exhaling. Keep rolling the left shoulder back. And then let the inhale bring you all the way back to the center. And then left palm outside, right knee twisting to the right. Keep rolling the right shoulder back behind you. You can feel this all along the spine. Twisting, opening the chest, twisting the eyes back behind you. 
and then let the inhale bring you back to the center and then coming on to the forearms and then sending the toes all the way back and we'll come into forearm plank and you're going to zip up the core so pull the belly button into the spine roll the shoulders away from the ears keep pulling the front of the head to the front of the mat and the heels pulling to the back of the mat so the spine is being stretched here from the front to the back lengthening the spine and finding that space between the vertebrae here as we're waking up the fire in the belly keep breathing steady here three more breaths one two and three rest the knees on the floor and then push the bum back into child's pose for a quick rest rest the head rest the shoulders inhale nose exhale nose slowly release the low back release the pelvis into the heels and then next inhale coming back onto the forearms sending the toes back press into the toes pull the heels to the back of the mat again roll the shoulders away from the ears long sides of the neck belly button moving into the spine press the floor away through the elbows through the forearms keeping the gaze between the arms on the floor five breaths one slow controlled inhales two three four five exhale rest the knees send the butt back child's pose rest the head rest the neck release the jaw release the front of the throat release the shoulders Come back to breathing, come back to what it feels like inside of the body. Feel into the belly, into the core. And then one last time, coming onto the elbows again. Five breaths. Keep pulling the belly button in and up long neck waking up the core here one two three four five and then from here we're going to transition into a side plank so maybe you rest the knees maybe you Pivot the palm towards me a little bit here. Don't leave it all the way out. And then from here, maybe you stay in the knees if that feels good. Maybe you go all the way on the feet. So inner ridge of the right foot, outer ridge of the left foot. Opening the right palm. Keep squeezing the left side body. Keep opening the right shoulder. One two press the elbow into the ground three four five exhale right elbow travels all the way to the ground rest on the belly right cheek comes to the floor rest exhale rest the face And then getting ready for the other side so right elbow 
and then pivoting the palm towards me and again on the knees or maybe on the feet keep opening the left shoulder left palm reaches for the ceiling squeezing the right side body like you're squeezing the last bits of lemon here keep pressing the right elbow into the ground maybe looking to the ceiling one two three four five exhale come rest on the belly left cheek on the ground this time resting the neck And then you're going to find the palms under the shoulders, press the palms into the ground, lifting the chest, any amount. So wherever feels good for you today, maybe it's here, maybe it's all the way up there, maybe you're in a sphinx pose. So maybe the elbows are pressing into the ground. And then once you're here or here, wherever you chose to be, feel into the low back. And if you're in sphinx and the low back feels not okay, then maybe you're walking the palms further away from you and then releasing the low back here. Okay, so if you were in upward dog, we're all gonna meet in sphinx. And then you're going to press the toes into the floor really activating the legs through pressing the big toes and then you're going to look over the left shoulder so you're looking at your left heel fixing the gaze there and rolling the shoulders down away from the ears so really long sides of the neck and fixing the gaze on your right heel 10 breaths one two, three, keep pressing the elbows into the ground, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, let the inhale bring you back to the center, and then right away we go for the other side, so again, reset press the toes into the floor press the elbows into the ground looking over the right shoulder this time looking at your right heel fix the gaze stay with the eyes in the same spot breathing slowly one two three four, five, inhale, brings the neck and the head back to neutral, and exhale, rest the forehead on the ground, send the palms all the way back, rest the shoulders, rest the neck, big exhale, release the jaw, and then when you're ready, Come flip onto the back. We're not going too far from the floor. And as the shoulders hit the floor, you're going to bring your right knee into the chest, maybe fingers intertwining and resting the left leg long. And big exhale here. Keep pressing the right knee into the right chest, into the right armpit. And feel the weight of the left leg here, relaxing. And keep feeling the weight of the pelvis meeting the floor. And if you're ready, gently switching to the other side. So right leg resting, left knee comes into the chest. 
Keep pressing the left knee into the left armpit. And as you're here, you're relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. So long sides of the neck here as well. And feel the weight of the pelvis melting into the ground here. Just waking up the hip flexors. And then you're going to bring both knees into the chest and maybe hugging them in, maybe holding the wrist with one palm, really hugging in the knees and feeling into the left and the right hip flexor here. And as you're here, thinking of bringing the pelvis more flat onto the floor and tucking the chin and pulling the top of the head to the back of the room and drawing the shoulders down again. And then from here, we're going to work on the core a little bit more. So slowly you're going to cross the ankles, start coming up onto the bum and then coming into a boat variation here. So maybe the toes are just touching the floor lightly and maybe you're holding onto the knees and engaging the core here, opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders. So this is level one. If you want to go for something a little more difficult, you're lifting the heels up into the air, opening the palms, breathing, pulling the belly button in and up towards the throat, opening the throat, breathing one, two, Keep opening the clavicles, four, and five, rest, and then grab one of your blocks, or maybe two, will make this a little bit more exciting. So next time you're coming up, you're going to place the block onto the shins. So breathing, one, two. Pulling the belly button in and up. Three, four, the block is stable. Five, exhale, bring the block down. Pull the knees into the armpits. Release the low back here. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to cross the ankles, come up, and then switch into tabletop, so sending the legs back, and then coming into bear, so pressing the floor away, long sides of the neck, knees are lifted a few inches off the ground, Engaging the core, so pull the belly button in and up. Engaging that Manipura energy where the will resides. So committing to wanting to do this, breathing, steady, coming back with the awareness to the breath in and slowly out. And we have five breaths left here, one, Press the floor away, two, three, four, five, rest the knees, child's pose, release the legs, roll the forehead on the ground, left to right, release the lower jaw, and get ready for second round. Inhale, brings you back up to tabletop, tucking the toes, 
lifting the knees, 10 breaths, one, long neck, two, flat back, knees hovering, three, four, press the floor away, fingers spreading wide, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, and ten, exhale, knees down, send the hips back, child's pose, release the entire spine here. And then if the shoulders are feeling too much here, you can bring the palms back behind you and rest the shoulders here. And next inhale brings you up. Check in with the knees, with the hips. So the knees are underneath the hips, stacking all the joints. Right palm is going to come underneath the face, opening up through the left side. So left palm goes to the ceiling. And then we're going to bring the elbow all the way to the ground, maybe underneath your right armpit on the floor. And then you're going to open up through the left arm again. And then exhale, close. So left elbow to the ground under the right armpit. And one more time, opening through the left side. Keep pressing the right palm into the ground. And two more times, left elbow to the floor, a little twist. And open the left shoulder up. And one last time, slowly controlled, the left elbow taps the floor. And final time, opening up. And then from here, we're going to thread the needle. So left palm slides under the right armpit. And so you're keeping the pelvis over the knees here. Keep pressing the right palm into the floor and exhale, rest the left shoulder. So release the left shoulder completely. And then maybe as an option, you're lifting the right palm up to the ceiling, opening through the right shoulder blade. And then turning your palm back and resting the right palm into the left hip crease. And through that, finding more of a twist in the mid spine. So one more giant exhale, releasing the jaw. Resting the left shoulder. Resting the space around the heart. And two more breaths. Rest the toes on the floor. Check in if you're keeping the tension. If the toes are tucked and on, tuck them. Find the softness in the feet. And then if you're ready, we'll come into the other side. So very slowly untangling that right hand from the left hip crease. Right palm comes up. And then gently pressing into the floor. Feel your left shoulder off the ground slowly. And then we're going to do the same thing, other side. So left palm comes underneath the face. 
Reset again, checking in with the hips over the knees. And then opening through the right chest, right shoulder blade moves back. And then right elbow is going to twist underneath the left armpit on the ground. And gently <coughs> opening up, right palm reaches for the ceiling. And then again, exhale, right elbow twisting under the left armpit. And three more times, inhale up, exhale twisting. And inhale up, opening, slowly control twisting. And one last time, opening and twisting touch the elbow lightly and then one last time opening and we're going to go for threading the needle here so sliding the right palm under the left armpit and as you get there you can start relaxing the shoulder into the ground make the head heavy Release the toes, release the feet. We're just making sure the pelvis is over the knees. And then maybe the left arm travels towards the ceiling. Then maybe turning the palm around and tucking the left palm around the right hip crease. And making the head heavy. And coming back to the inner experience in the body. Keep rolling the left shoulder back behind you. And just noticing the quality of the breath and noticing the quality of your attention. So just checking in, where is my attention? Is it on the breath? Is it on the inner experience? And starting to inhale, slowly coming out. So left palm reaching for the ceiling. And then left palm presses into the floor, feeling the right shoulder off the ground, move slowly here with control. And then from here, we're going to the puppy pose. So here we're paying attention to the hips, staying over the knees. And then as an option, you can have your blocks nearby. So maybe the palms are on top of the blocks. And from here, you're resting the head on the ground. And so the blocks are here to open up the shoulders even more. So you don't need them. If you're just here, this might be already enough where you are here. But in case you want more, that's when the blocks will help you here to keep opening the shoulders more. So we're staying with the pelvis over the knees. So here we're working with the proprioception, finding where the pelvic bones are in space without looking at them, and then regulating where they are in relation to the knees. And exhaling, resting the chest, melt all the way from the heart into the ground. And if your forehead is touching the floor and you want a bit more, then you can start moving the chin onto the mat. That takes you a little deeper. And 
And of course, you're always welcome to have a pillow under your face here as well. And just coming back to gentle breathing, coming back to your attention being on the breath. And resting the shoulders one more time. So make the shoulders very heavy. And then if you're ready to come out, we're slowly transitioning into all fours. And again, stacking the joints, making sure that the shoulders are over the wrists, the knees are underneath the hips. And then from here, we'll start lifting the left heel up into the air. So you're pressing the heel away, engaging the left glute here and paying attention to the belly button. So again, pulling in the belly button in and up towards the throat, keeping the sides of the neck long. And then you're going to extend your right arm in front of you. So engaging that right shoulder. Keep pressing the left heel to the back of the mat. Keep looking at the mat underneath your face. Five more breaths. So one, two, three, four, finding stability. Five, exhale, release the left knee, release the right palm into the floor, and then we'll switch. So right heel comes up, press the right heel away, engage the right glute, pull the belly button in and up, and then lifting the left palm. That's an option, you can do this without the palms, without the arms lifting. Five breaths, finding stability in the hips, so the hips are square. One, two, three, four, last one, five, exhale, release the palm, release the right knee, separate the knees far away, touch the toes, rest in child's pose. Release the belly button here. So we were engaging the core and the abdomen. Now is the time to release the core. So we're alternating, engaging the power and engaging rest. Two more breaths. And then we get ready for another round. Inhale, nose, exhale, nose. With the next inhale, bring you up. Stacking the joints one more time, paying attention to where the shoulders are in space relative to the wrists. Same with the knees and the hips. And then sending the left heel back, right palm comes up just as far as feels good here. Maybe you're just down here, maybe up here if the shoulders allow you. Three more breaths, so one. Equal weight distribution between the left palm and the right knee. Two, pulling in the belly button, three. Four. And five, release everything, switching the sides. Right heel is pressing to the back of the room. Maybe left arm lifts up as well here. 
Finding stability. Five steady, long breaths through the nose. Close the mouth. One. Pull the belly button in and up. Two. Right foot is engaged. Three. Four. Long sides of the neck. And five. Exhale, release the left palm. Release the right knee. And then your choice. Either the knees can come close together and you're resting in child's pose. The palms go back. Resting the shoulders. Or maybe the knees are wide and the belly is resting between the thighs. And if you're choosing to be in child's pose with wide knees, you can bring the blocks to elevate the palms. This is for extra shoulder opening. And then of course there's three heights. There's the first setting, and the second one, or the third, super high. So once you found where you want to rest, start exhaling, releasing the jaw. Releasing the front of the throat. Releasing the shoulders. And then let the inhale bring you back up stacking the heart over the pelvis <coughs> and then coming onto the back and we'll keep working with the twists for the spine so you're going to keep the right knee in the chest and the left leg is gonna go long behind you and keep exploring the range of motion in the right hip so let's make some circles with your right knee <clears throat> and maybe you start with a small circle and then go bigger, feeling into all these subtle sensations in the right hip. And then maybe reversing the direction and going counterclockwise. Just feeling into all these nooks and crannies in the hip. And then we'll come into the supine twist. So one of the options is you're gonna bring the right knee towards the left, outside your left body. So if this is too intense, you will, you're always able to bring your both knees together and then rest them on the left side of the body. If this is not doing much for you, then you can intertwine the knees so the right knee goes on top of the left. So you're in this eagle legs and then you can rest the legs on the left. So three options. And then press into your left elbow, lift the left shoulder so that you can bring your right shoulder a little bit more flat and closer to the floor. And then maybe the arms are in a T, maybe the arms are overhead, maybe the arms are resting on the body. Maybe you're holding your right knee with your left palm Maybe the right palm is on the right rib cage here. And 
Taking a big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Exhale and sink deeper with your awareness inside of the body. So find that maybe subtle vibrations inside the body under the skin. Maybe finding something alive within you. And if you're keeping the eyes closed, it's a little easier to come into the inner experience. And keep letting the gravity bring the right shoulder closer to the floor. And then if you're ready to go for the other side, slowly, slowly, right knee will start coming up. And then resting the right leg. Long, bring the left knee in. And start drawing little circles with the knee, bringing the attention into the left hip. Maybe you'll feel this in your left glute as well. And then see if maybe from small circles you want to move into larger circles. Or maybe you're reversing the direction, going counterclockwise. Bring slowness into this moment, feel into the texture of this moment here. And then when you're ready to go for the twist, maybe your left knee rests on the ground on your right hand side, resting the left shoulder. Option two is your both knees travel to the right. And option three is your left knee comes on top of the right knee, eagle legs, and then scooting your pelvis to the left and rest the knees on the right hand side. You can bring the palms into a T, open up across the shoulders. Maybe your right palm is holding the left knee. Finding the variation that works for you today in the body. And then closing the eyes one more time. And dropping the attention inward. And bringing the attention towards your breath. Bringing the attention towards what this feels like from inside the body.
and allowing the gravity to slowly bring your left shoulder closer to the floor. Preparing for Shavasana, so gently left knee comes back into the center line and bringing the bum flat to the floor. So a few options, maybe you want to keep working on the hips, so maybe you come into Baddha Konasana to rest here, maybe with the pillows under the knees to support the knees here. Maybe you're choosing to be in classic Shavasana, taking up space, supplying on the floor, opening the shoulders, taking up room with the palms, with the arms. Taking up space with the legs, letting the feet flop open. If there's any sensitivity in the low back, you can bring something underneath the knees to elevate the knees to let the low back rest. closer to the floor. Resting, taking space, allowing the body to integrate the benefits of the practice. Releasing through the feet. Releasing the knees. Releasing the pelvis. Exhaling, releasing the right hip flexor. And the next exhale, releasing the left hip flexor. And softening the belly, and the skin around the belly.
resting the rib cage and letting the ribs sink lower into the ground. Resting the lungs and resting the back of the heart, allowing it to take up space as well as it sinks lower into the ground. Coming up to the shoulders with your awareness and making the shoulders heavier. Resting the elbows. Melting the wrists into the floor. And softening the entire face and the skin on the face and furrowing the eyebrows. Letting the eyeballs sink deeper into the head. And starting to bring the attention back to the body through breath. Inhaling deeper into the belly, letting the breath bring you back into the body and into the room. Maybe introducing little movements in the toes and the ankles. Maybe moving the fingers and the wrists slowly.
And then maybe rolling onto one side, whichever feels best. If you roll onto your right side, you're keeping space on the left for the heart. And then maybe bringing the knees into the chest. And staying here for one last moment of stillness before we come up. ready to start coming up, gently pressing one palm into the floor. Come up slowly on your own time. If you're ready to close the practice, if it feels good, maybe the palms touch in front of the heart. Maybe bowing the head all the way down towards your own divine consciousness that you embody. Thank you.